Seeking support from family and friends can be crucial during a breakup because it validates your feelings, offers a different perspective, it can act at a, as an emotional outlet, and you can get practical support, validate your self-worth, and encourages self-care. So certain some ways that you can achieve this is communicate openly with your closed ones in an honest and open way how you feel. Share your thoughts and the feelings and the challenges that you face. You will need to, cho to choose the right time and place to do that. Pick an appropriate time and place to talk. Ensure that you have a privacy and comfort to discuss your feelings without interruptions. Express your needs clearly. Clear communication can provide support and you can have the support that you need. Whether it's a listening eye, a practical help, or a companionship, let them know exactly what you need. Reach out for emotional support with the people again that you trust. Sometimes expressing your feelings can provide relief and having a supportive friend or family member that can listen can be very comforting. Of course, the professional help is all of, always available in whatever form you want to use your therapist and help you with. A therapist will be able to do that. Set boundaries with your experiences. Let your friends and family know how much you want to discuss the breakup. If you need space, make it clear, but also communicate when you are ready to talk. Diversify your support system. Rely on a variety of people for support. Different friends and family members can offer different perspectives and types of support, and this is also very beneficial. In general, be open for advice. While you don't have to follow every piece of advice, be open to suggestions from people who care about you. Sometimes their perspective can give you a very different insight. Plan activities with the people that you love. Show gratitude. You can, of course, attend social gatherings. Remember that everybody has their own way of offering support, and it is okay to communicate your needs clearly. Surround yourself with those who uplift and support you during this challenging time. Engaging in activities and hobbies can be a great way to keep yourself busy and focused on positive aspects of your life after a breakup. Some of the suggestions are exercise. Physical activity is not only beneficial for your health, but can also have alleviate stress and boost your mood. Consider activities like jogging, yoga, cycling, or joining a fitness class. Read a book. Immerse yourself in a good book, whether it's fiction or non-fiction, self-help self -help book. Reading can be a great way to escape and gain new perspectives. Learn a new skill. Use this time for personal development. Learn a new language, pick up a musical instrument, take cooking classes, anything that you feel that gives you some uh, insight and interest. Art and creativity, drawing, writing, travel. Consider traveling, even if it is just for a short getaway. Explore new places or planning a future trip can be exciting and give you something positive to look forward to. Join a club or a group, photography classes, meditation and mindfulness, gardening, music, and dancing, of course. Create a playlist of uplifting music, attend live performances, or take dance classes. Music and movement can be powerful tools for self-expression and joy. Socialize. Certainly don't isolate yourself. Spend time with family and friends and plan things together. It is very, very important to self-reflect Take time for self-reflection through activities like journaling or meditation. Understand your emotions and goals 
can contribute to personal growth. Going through a breakup can be a challenging experience, but it also offers the opportunity for personal growth and self-discovery. Here are some ways to learn from the experience and grow as a person. Reflect on the relationship. Take time to reflect on the dynamics of the relationship. Consider what worked well, what didn't, and what you have learned about yourself and your needs. You can identify pattern patterns. Recognize any patterns or behaviors in the relationship that may have contributed to the challenges. Understanding these patterns can help you make more informed decisions for future relationships. Accept your emotions. Allow yourself to feel the full range of emotions that come with a breakup. Avoid suppressing feelings and acknowledge that this is a process of healing and everything is acceptable. Focus on self-care. Prioritize self-care in various aspects of your life, including physical, emotional, and mental well-being. This could involve regular exercise, healthy eating, sufficient sleep, and activities that bring you joy. Reconnect with hobbies and interests. Rediscover activities and interests that may have taken a backseat during the relationship and engage back with them. What will be very beneficial is to learn from the mistakes. Acknowledge any mistake that you made during the relationship. Use the mistakes as an opportunity for personal growth and commit to learning from those experiences. Set new goals. Take this time to set new personal and professional goals. Focus on areas of your life that you want to improve and explore and work towards achieving those goals. Finally, professional help is always available that you can reach and ask for it. Practice forgiveness. Forgive yourself and your ex-partner for any mistakes that have happened. Embrace change. Understand that change is a natural part of life. Embrace the opportunity to grow and evolve, recognizing that personal development often involves adapting to new circumstances. And finally, be patient with yourself. Healing and personal growth takes time. Be patient with yourself as you navigate the emotions and changes that come with a breakup. Deciding when to start considering another relationship after a breakup is a highly personal matter and varies from person to person. There isn't a one-size-fits-all answer, as the timeline for the healing and readiness for a new relationship depends on various factors, including the nature of the previous relationship, individual resilience, and emotional well-being. However, here are some considerations that can help you guide your decision. Focus on self-reflection. Take time for self-reflection to understand your own emotions, needs, and goals. Ensure that you are in a healthy and stable emotional state before considering a new relationship. It is very important to heal from the breakup. Allow yourself sufficient time to heal from the previous relationship. It's important to address any lingering emotions learn from the experience, and gain closure before you move on. Establish emotional stability. Ensure that you have achieved emotional stability and, are not, and you are not seeking a new relationship as a way to cope with loneliness, insecurity, or unresolved issues that maybe you had from the previous relationship. It is very important to know what you want Clarify what you are looking for in your relationship. Understand your values, priorities, and the qualities that you desire in a partner to make informed choices. It's very, very important to avoid rebound relationships. Be cautious of entering a new relationship as a rebound. Give yourself time to move on from the past 
and avoid using a new relationship as a distraction or a way to fill an emotional void. Certainly listen to your instincts. Pay attention to your instincts and emotions. If you feel genuinely ready to open your heart to somebody new and you're excited about the prospect of a new relationship, it might be a good indication that you can give it a go. Communicate openly. If you start dating again, communicate openly with your potential partner about your recent breakup. Honesty and transparency are important for establishing trust. Go very, very slow with a new relationship. Take things slow when you enter and allow the connection to develop naturally and don't rush into commitments. Certainly also be flexible. Be flexible and open-minded about the timing of the new relationships. Sometimes the right person may come into your life when you least expect it.